I learned a lot last time, so I'm making a new version of my macro pad. So I guess we should start with what was wrong with the first one. Well, nothing really. It worked fine. I just have been using it for a while, and there are a few things that I want to change about it. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to kind of look at the project again and see what I can do to improve it. The biggest problem I have with the current version is that the LEDs are hard to see, so when you lay it flat on the desk, they're all behind the keys. You can't see it. So I really wanted to move those LEDs down and make it easier to see. Um, and that really inspired me to take another look at it. So what changes have I made to the parts on the inside? First of all, last time I used brown switches. This time I'm using red switches just because I figured I'd try something new. Um, for the controller, we're using a Pro Micro instead of a Teensy. Um, just because, why not? Uh, encoder is exactly the same. We're putting a whole cat in there this time. Uh, I am using diodes this time. I'm putting the keyboard matrix in uh, for this version. Again, 3D printed case with a new location for those LEDs, as well as this one is held together with some screws instead of just a snap fit. You also need those LEDs and resistor. This is exactly the same as the last time as well. Oh, and wire. I almost forgot wire. So assembly is different, but similar. First up, we have to put all the keys into position. Uh, this, I will post both a step file so you can modify dimensions as needed. For the switches, I actually got a much better fit this time. So I was very happy with that. For the fit, you want the switches to actually be kind of tight, pretty tight actually. That way, when you pull the keycaps off, the switches stay in place, um, which is a problem with the first one. Those key switches are, are a bit loose, so I just tightened everything up. Oh, another huge difference. I have 11 keys this time. The reason I have 11 keys rather, or 10 function keys rather than nine function keys is because one of the commands kept showing up on every layout. So I just gave it its own dedicated key. For the LEDs, I'm just taking the ground lead and bending it down at 90 degrees and then putting those in place. And I'm making sure that all of the leads face in the same direction because we can just solder those leads together um, and then just put the resistor in line between all of those ground leads and the ground pin on the Pro Micro. Um, so we only need one resistor in here. For the diodes, uh, it helps to really bend a little loop on one end and then kind of an L shape on the other. And be aware of the polarity here. I will put a full circuit diagram in an instructable in the description. For the encoder, you'll have to remove these little pins. And a little tip that I've learned uh, is to actually take some like side cutters and clip the plastic supports apart. So you essentially have a number of separate pins and then they're much easier to desolder and remove. You also need a bunch of short sections of wire, um, and these will go between each of the switches, forming kind of the, the columns of our, of our matrix. So here are those wires in place. You can see the wires forming the columns and the diodes forming the rows across. And then each of those just gets connected to the Pro Micro, um, as well as all the LEDs and the encoder here. Um, the plug this time, it runs through a hole in the back to plug into the controller, and then everything is screwed together. I found it a little bit cleaner than the snap together. It feels a little bit more secure um, with, the, with the screws in there. There we go. We are basically done. Oh, wait, still need some keycaps. Let's go ahead and get those transferred on over there. There we go. And since we've got 11 keys this time, uh, we'll go ahead and put that keycap on there. I'll put a full link to the code in the Instructable, um, and you can download it from there and look at it if you would like. So let's take a look at the final product. Here we go. 
pretty similar. I've got nine distinct function buttons. I've got a individual key for uh, its own function that's on every layout, as well as four separate layouts. You could do up to 16 on this with just four LEDs, kind of binary counting and whatnot. Um, the encoder is exactly the same, similar function. Um, there are a few changes in the code because of using the Pro Micro rather than the Teensy. You can take a look at that if you'd like. Um, but this is my final product. Thanks for stopping by.